Welcome everybody to Dallas New Tech. Thank you for being here. I'm your host, Winston Edmondson. You know, I feel like that blanket thank you seems a little inauthentic, doesn't seem genuine, so here's what I'm going to do. Every, every month from now on, I'm going to go and make sure at least one of you knows that I'm genuinely thankful for you being here. Let me pick here. Uh, you, sir. What's your name? Joel Starling. Joel, thank you for being here, man. I appreciate it. Help. Help from the bottom of my heart. Let me thank our Launch DFW partners. We've got some fantastic partners that support us. They love us and we love them, and we would appreciate if you show them love. Uh, Precocity, Soft Layer, Dart, of course. <laughs> It's interesting because you've got different, I say the same folks every week, and you've got like a different hoot. So sometimes you guys feel the love for Dart, sometimes it's precocity. I wonder what, I wonder what drives that. Uh, Roger Wilco, of course, does our video. Uh, Inbound Geo and Boxer, pro pro Boxer Property. That was, that was tough. Uh, and of course, our event sponsors for tonight. We want to thank the Dallas Public Library for hosting us. Uh, the City of Dallas Economic Development, Dallas Brain, Broken Box, you guys, uh, you know, they helped your palate. That was uh, very helpful. Are they, are they in here or are they still over there? Okay. Um, who else do we have here? Lasseter Early College and El Centro. So, for those of you who have never been here, I know we have some new faces. I want to tell you a little bit about Big DNT. This is an event where we go out and we find the most interesting uh, startup teams in Dallas, Fort Worth. We bring them here, we give them five minutes to give their best pitch. Then we give you guys five minutes to grill them with your best questions, see if you can stump them. And that's how it works. Uh, now, during the presentation, we would appreciate if you just give it to them, heckle them. Uh, it's kind of part of the culture. We just give them a hard time, and uh, that's how it works. In fact, there's a heckling tool that I need you guys to help me with. From right about here to right about here is the sweet spot for Roger Wilco for the cameras. Now, we've got speakers that just, they get so passionate, they're walking around, and they don't even know when they pass this line. Exactly. When they get here, as soon as they're beyond this point of no return, I need you guys to, what's the si signal? What? Clapping? <laughs> All right, let's practice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk beyond. <laughs> See, that works. All right, thank you guys. Uh, <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's get started. Who's first? Yeah. I'm uh, Rob Andrews. I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Expose UX, along with uh, Richard Brevig, who I'm filling in tonight. Um, some of you may know him. Um, so uh, in case you don't know, Expose UX is a TV show where startups come on and present their applications and it gets reviewed by a panel of design experts and they offer feedback on how they can improve their products. So why I'm here today is we're having a party next week, Thursday, May 12th at the Common Desk that we want all of y'all to be there and your friends. We're launching a Kickstarter and we're going to celebrate good UX. So we're going to have, excuse me? At uh, Common Desk in Deep Ellum, sorry, again, that's May 12th, it starts at 7. At 8 o'clock, we're going to have a panel of uh, people in the design community and startup, including uh, Michael Zitrzewski over here, and uh, Trey Bowles, Steven Anderson, and others telling their UX stories about why UX is so important to them. So, and after that, we're going to launch our Kickstarter. Uh, we're going to have uh, drinks. Uh, I'm going to be DJing, playing music, and we're just going to have a lot of fun. So I hope you guys can come join us. Uh, you can look up on Facebook, find our event, or go to exposeux.com slash Kickstarter. Invite your friends, and we hope to see you guys there. May 12th at Common Desk in Deep Ellum. Thanks. I knew we couldn't do it without the pants. We had to have the pants. Hey, uh, Michael Sitarzewski here. I think I know a lot of you. Hi. Um, we have something called uh, Big DOCC that happens every Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock at a coffee shop called Surge downtown and one at Coffee House Cafe at Frankfurt and Preston um, 
every Tuesday as well. So it's at 8 o'clock. We talk about random crap um, having to do with technology. We would love to see you there. And uh, he, he runs, this is David, he runs Video Game Open Coffee Club. Um, that's in Plano. And we have uh, five other ones around the city. So if that's your thing, um, look it up on LaunchDFW, and you can find it there. Also, if you want other startup events, LaunchDFW.com slash events. You can find a crap ton of stuff there. Not that I'm biased at all. Hey, uh, I'm David Faris. I'm your boo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, I'm the resident gamer in the house. Woo. Um, but so, uh, for any of you that are interested in video game development, uh, like gaming, or just want to learn more about it, uh, the Dallas Society of Play, which is a local indie game development group, is having a meetup on Monday at 7 p.m. at Improving Enterprises. It's going to be what's called Macro Talks, where three local Dallas game developers are going to talk about aspects of developing games and promoting them and all that stuff. And it should be really interesting. Um, so yeah, I just thought maybe somebody here would want that. So. Hey, guys, I'm Oren. Uh, Hi, I'm Oren. I'm the founder of a co-working space called Dallas Fort Work. Uh, we are just uh, six blocks up the road on North Irve Street. And we have two really excellent events coming up. Uh, we have one tomorrow morning uh, called Waffle Wednesday. Uh, we serve uh, waffles with maple syrup, and we make them fresh off the iron, including our Death Star iron. Um, makes little waffles in the shape of the Death Star, and you could pour syrup all over it and then destroy it and eat in your belly and have that whole Luke Skywalker experience. Say what? It is real maple syrup. We recently uh, signed up for an Amazon subscription for maple syrup. So every month, about two gallons of maple syrup just shows up at our office. And then we're like, oh, what do we do with this? I guess we have to have an event and give it away. <laughs> so we have that. So that's tomorrow morning at uh, 1030 to noon, first Wednesday of every month. And uh, next week, uh, on Wednesday in the evening, we have a really special event. It's going to be the first one ever. Uh, it's called Meet the Devs. And uh, I'm constantly approached by people who say, hey, I've got this really cool idea for a startup. Oren, can you introduce me to a developer? And you know, I always make the introductions, and I always try to help people out. But there's a lot of like fit and understanding the development process, understanding the developer you're getting in with. So we decided to host an event uh, run by developers, uh, talking to other developers about their experiences in freelance projects, as well as um, you know, really, really big companies across the whole board. So it's a great opportunity to network with developers, uh, if you're a fellow developer, or if you're just you know, someone looking to meet developers, and also just learn about the development process. Uh, both those events are free and have free food, so you should definitely check us out. Thanks. Any other big announcements? All right. Let me get Josh Arnoff with Skill Silo.